So today we're just going to jump right into the haircut. Listen, what we're going to do to it for you today is an asymmetrical pixie haircut. So this is a before, and look, there's so many different ways of doing this haircut. This is just my version, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So I start by taking a section from ear to ear all the way across, and then we're going to section off the crown area because that's where we're going to build up the weight. So basically, as I'm sectioning this off, you're just mapping out the haircut. So real simple sectioning. Now a lot of people start this haircut on the shorter side at the front, and you can take diagonal back sections from there. I actually start the haircut in the back, and the reason why I do that is because when I'm looking at it from behind, I do want to see it connected. Now a lot of people do the disconnected, which is great, but as I said, this is just my version of doing it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm just sectioning off that crown area, because that's where we're going to build up the weight, and then I take a section, a triangle section, behind the ear, because I don't want any holes back there. And what I mean by holes is sometimes you can take it too short behind the longer side and you end up with a bit more of a disconnect on the longer side, on the stronger side. So what I start by doing is just taking that right across the bottom to get my first guideline. I want it pretty short in the back, but as I said, when I'm looking at the haircut from behind, I still want to see the haircut connected. So I start by taking it straight out at 90 degrees. You can see Kimberly's head is slightly tilted forward because I do want it short, but I'm not getting out the clippers. I'm not shaving it short. I'm doing it all with scissors. So I just work my way around, taking really small sections, slightly over directing it back, just to keep a little bit of length in the front. So you can see I'm not touching that triangle section. I'm gonna connect that when we get to the long side. Let's start with the short side. So as I'm working my way around, you can see I'm working up to the head shape. Now I am not shaving it, so I am gonna keep some length on the shorter side, but it's still gonna be up and over the ears. So you can see here, just working my way around, making sure it's nice and clean up and over the ears. Now, obviously, once you dry it, you can go back in and refine everything, but I try to get a nice clean line, so there we're not going back over too many sections. So what I'm doing here is slightly over-directing it back, just real small sections, making sure the hairline and up and over the ear is really clean. Now, obviously, once you dry it, you can go back over all this and make sure it's nice and clean, but we try to avoid that and just get it right the first time. So before you leave a comment about the angle I was cutting that, I know the camera shot wasn't the best to see that, but you can see it right here. So now what we do is going to take that crown section and just let that drop out, and we're going to build up a little bit of weight as I connect that to the short side. So believe it or not, the short side and the long side around the crown area, I want to look the same. So when we're looking at it from behind, it looks like a haircut. There's no real holes in it, but you can see I'm leaving it longer on one side and that's where the little bit of disconnect comes in. So I'm leaving that longer as I'm getting to that triangle section that we left out. So it's very important to keep your sections really thin and really clean. Because you are following a guideline and you don't want to lose that from where you start to where you finish. So as I work my way around to the longer side, you can see I'm over directing it back to keep that length there, but to make sure everything is connected. And just as I did in the back, I'm going to do in the front as well. So I'm going to connect that front part on a real dramatic angle so she can have some swooped over bangs. But again, it's got to flow. We've got to have that connection on the haircut. Otherwise, you end up with a bunch of holes. And then I just go through with the round brush. I love the Acquire's round brush. It's a ball bristle brush just to give it some body and movement. And I did put in a little bit of the Root Boost by Paul Mitchell just to give it that little bit of lift. As I was saying at the start of the video, look, there are so many different ways of doing this haircut. This is just my version. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. You know, you've sort of got to find your own technique and what works best for you. I've been in America too long. I can't believe earlier on I said bangs. I mean fringe, the front fringe area. And this is the end result. Look, I absolutely love the way this haircut turned out. I love the short side. I love how it's up and over the ears. I love how it connects to the long side at the front and at the back. If you've enjoyed this video or you've gotten anything out of it, I'd love to hear from you guys. So don't forget to like, comment, and share. And I will catch you next week.